Yes. October is officially Breast Cancer Awareness Month. A new study shows the disease has become more deadly despite so many efforts to help women prevent or treat it. More women younger than 50 are being diagnosed with breast cancer. Experts haven't figured out why, but they are now suggesting annual breast screenings at the age of 40 instead of 50 to help catch and treat this earlier. Let's bring in America Tonight medical contributor and Forbes contributor, Dr. Omar Awan. Dr. Awan, I know so many women who have been diagnosed with breast cancer under the age of 40, some very close friends of mine. So is 40 young enough for the recommended mammogram age? We don't know, Marita, and I also know many women under the age of 40 that have been diagnosed with breast cancer, but you know, I'm glad that the United States Preventive Services Task Force has decreased the age and started at the age of 40 because, quite frankly, the more we screen, the more we know, and the more we can prevent uh, breast cancer. And even if we find breast cancer, we can treat it at a stage, at an early stage, where it then won't be deadly. So the key and the most important thing is for women to get mammograms. You know, mammograms really do save lives. You know, research has shown that if you get a mammogram at the age of 40, it can reduce the risk of death by 40 percent compared to when you don't get a mammogram. So the bottom line is, is that we have to encourage as many women as possible to go and get mammograms. And I know so many women who have also been tested for that gene, Dr. Owan, and, and had preventative mastectomies. Is that something that, that we all should be considering? It really depends on your risk. So there's some risk factors that you're born with. As you just said, that's the BRCA1 and the BRCA2 gene that you're referring to, Maritza. But also just, you know, age is another risk factor. Obviously, if you're over the age of 50, that puts you at higher risk of breast cancer. But there are also other risks, such as, you know, drinking alcohol, smoking tobacco, uh, being overweight or obese. These are all risk factors for breast cancer. So depending on your risk, uh, Maybe you should, you know, quite frankly, or at least have a conversation with your doctor or your radiologist to figure out, you know, what type of tests you may need or what additional tests you may need uh, in order to get the appropriate screening that you deserve. So we know um, it's hard to pinpoint why so many women under the age of 50 are being diagnosed with breast cancer. But are there working theories that that experts and scientists are, are trying to prove? We don't exactly know, but I suspect it's related to these modifiable risk factors. And we're talking about, you know, physical inactivity and obesity being major risk factors for breast cancer. There are more than 100 million Americans that are obese, Maritza. So I would suspect that that has a big part in the increase in the amount of, you know, breast cancers that we're seeing. But also, I think it's a positive sign to some extent, because that means that we're detecting more breast cancer. That means that more people are actually getting screened. So I think it's a double-edged sword where, yes, there are absolutely risk factors, obesity being one of them, but also we're doing somewhat of a good job by we're screening more and more females and women, and we're detecting this at a time where we can actually prevent, you know, a deadly disease, quite frankly. I once had a hospital administrator say to me, and I'll never forget this, he said the scariest three words you can hear is, you have cancer, or you have cancer. What's the first thing you should do if you hear those three words? I think you have to step back and you know, speak to your loved ones, embrace them. I can identify with this because my wife was diagnosed with cancer, not breast cancer, but she had kidney cancer, you know, and she's young and she's otherwise healthy. So mm. I've gone through this process myself and it's very tough and it's very emotional. And I think the first thing you have to do is just embrace those that you love, pray, and then talk to a physician and get the help that you need as early as possible. You know, luckily and thankfully, my wife is totally cured. She doesn't have, she's cancer free, but at the same time, that wouldn't have happened if we didn't have a great team of doctors around us. So I think the most important thing is to, you know, get out there, get the help that you need and talk to as many doctors as possible. Well, I'm so glad that she is in remission. Dr. Rowan, thank you so much for sharing that with us. America Tonight medical contributor, Dr. Omar Rowan, thank you.